Welcome, mythology enthusiasts. Today, we embark on a captivating journey into the realm of ancient Greek mythology as we delve into the fascinating tales of the Twelve Olympian Gods and Goddesses. From the mighty Zeus to the wise Athena, each deity holds a unique place in the pantheon, weaving together a tapestry of epic narratives that have shaped the foundations of Western mythology. Join us as we unravel the stories, powers, and symbolism behind these divine figures, exploring the rich tapestry of Greek mythology. Get ready for an odyssey through time and myth. Welcome to the enchanting world of the Olympian gods and goddesses. Zeus, king of the gods and ruler of Mount Olympus. Zeus was not only the king of the gods, but also the god of the sky and thunder. His weapon of choice was the mighty thunderbolt, which he would use to unleash storms and assert his dominance. Zeus's birth is quite unconventional. He was the son of Cronus and Rhea, who were also his siblings. Cronus, fearing a prophecy that one of his children would overthrow him, swallowed Zeus at birth. However, Rhea cleverly saved Zeus by giving Cronus a rock wrapped in swaddling clothes to swallow instead. Zeus was infamous for his numerous love affairs and extramarital relationships. His infidelity resulted in the birth of many demigods and legendary figures, including Hercules, Perseus, Helen of Troy, and many others. Zeus was a master of shape-shifting. He often transformed into different animals or even other gods to pursue his romantic interests. For example, he turned into a swan to seduce Leda and a golden shower of rain to impregnate Danae. When Prometheus stole fire from the gods and gave it to humanity, Zeus punished him severely. Prometheus was bound to a rock and an eagle, or in some versions, a vulture, would eat his liver every day, only for it to regenerate overnight. This punishment continued until Hercules eventually rescued Prometheus. Zeus played a crucial role in the overthrow of his father, Cronus, and the Titans. After being saved by Rhea, Zeus grew up in secret and eventually led a rebellion against the Titans, successfully dethroning Cronus and establishing the rule of the Olympian gods. The conflict between the Olympian gods and the Titans is known as the Titanomachy. Zeus, along with his siblings and other gods, fought against the powerful Titans in a ten-year war, which ultimately led to the Titans' defeat and the establishment of the Olympian order. Hera, queen of the gods, and sister and wife of Zeus. Hera is famously known as the sister and wife of Zeus, forming the central divine couple in the Greek pantheon. However, their marriage was far from idyllic. Zeus, known for his numerous affairs, often incurred Hera's wrath due to his infidelity. Hera, in turn, became a symbol of marital fidelity, despite her husband's actions. Hera was particularly known for her jealousy and vengeful nature, especially towards Zeus' illegitimate offspring. She directed her anger towards both the mortal mothers and the demigod children, punishing them for Zeus's transgressions. For example, Heracles, Hercules, faced Hera's wrath throughout his life due to his divine parentage. Despite her tumultuous relationship with Zeus, Hera was regarded as the protector of marriage and the marital bond. Temples and festivals dedicated to her often celebrated the institution of marriage, and she was invoked by brides seeking blessings for a harmonious union. Hera was the mother of several deities, including Ares, god of war, Hebe, goddess of youth, and Ilithia, goddess of childbirth. Despite her conflicts with Zeus, Hera's dedication to her divine offspring was a notable aspect of her character. Hera played significant roles in various myths. For instance, she was involved in the story of the Golden Fleece, where she played a crucial role in the quest of Jason and the Argonauts. Additionally, she was part of the Trojan War mythology, supporting the Greeks against the Trojans. Hera was not only associated with fidelity and marriage, but also with transformation and metamorphosis. In some myths, she changed the forms of individuals who offended her or stood in her way. Hera was often depicted with symbols such as the peacock, 
cacao, and pomegranate. The peacock, with its beautiful plumage, was especially associated with her and represented her regal and majestic nature. Poseidon, god of the sea, earthquakes, and horses. Poseidon's dominion was not limited to just the sea. He was also associated with earthquakes and horses. His influence over the sea extended to its various aspects, including storms, tides, and the well-being of sailors. Poseidon was one of the children of Cronus and Rhea, making him a sibling to Zeus and Hera. After the defeat of the Titans in the Titanomachy, the three siblings drew lots to determine their realms. Poseidon became the ruler of the seas. Poseidon is often depicted wielding a trident, a three-pronged spear. The trident symbolizes his power and control over the waders. Legend has it that when Poseidon struck the ground with his trident, earthquakes and springs would emerge. In some myths, Poseidon played a role in the creation of various creatures. For instance, he is credited with the creation of horses. According to one myth, when Poseidon struck the ground with his trident, a magnificent horse emerged. Poseidon was known for his powerful and sometimes unpredictable temperament. He could be both benevolent and wrathful. Sailors often sought his favor for safe voyages, but his wrath could result in storms and shipwrecks. Poseidon was considered a protector of certain cities, and temples were erected in his honor. One of the most notable was the Temple of Poseidon at Cape Sunion, overlooking the Aegean Sea. Sailors would often offer sacrifices to appease him before embarking on sea journeys. Poseidon played a significant role in various myths. One notable story involves his rivalry with Athena for the patronage of Athens. Poseidon presented the city with a spring, but Athena's gift of an olive tree was deemed more valuable by the people. Similar to many other gods, Poseidon had his share of romantic entanglements. He fathered several children, including the famous Theseus, the hero of Athens, and the Cyclops Polyphemus, who encountered Odysseus in Homer's Odyssey, Demeter, goddess of agriculture and the harvest. Demeter was the daughter of Cronus and Rhea, making her a sibling to Zeus, Hera, Poseidon, and Hades. In some variations of the myths, Demeter is also considered the mother of Persephone. Demeter is often portrayed as a caring and nurturing mother. Her love for her daughter Persephone is a central theme in many myths. The abduction of Persephone by Hades and Demeter's subsequent grief and search for her daughter are central elements in the story of the changing seasons. Demeter's primary domain is agriculture, and she is often depicted holding sheaves of wheat or a cornucopia. Farmers and those involved in agriculture would offer prayers and sacrifices to Demeter to ensure a good harvest and fertility of the land. Demeter was closely associated with the Eleusinian Mysteries, a religious initiation ceremony held in honor of Demeter and Persephone. The Mysteries were a significant and secretive religious practice in ancient Greece, promising initiates a positive afterlife. One of the most well-known myths involving Demeter is the abduction of her daughter Persephone by Hades. Demeter's grief over the loss of her daughter led to a period of barrenness on earth. This myth is often cited to explain the changing seasons, with Persephone spending part of the year in the underworld and the other part with her mother. Demeter had various temples and sanctuaries dedicated to her throughout ancient Greece. The city of Eleusis, in particular, was a significant center of her worship. The Thesmophoria, an annual festival honoring Demeter, was celebrated by women to invoke fertility and ensure a good harvest. Demeter had several divine offspring, including Persephone, Plutus, god of wealth and abundance, Despoina, a goddess associated with the mysteries of Demeter, and Arion, a talking, immortal horse. Demeter is often depicted with symbols of fertility, such as a sheaf of wheat, cornucopia, and sometimes accompanied by the serpent-legged Agathos Daemon. Her appearance is maternal and regal, reflecting her role as a nurturing goddess. Athena, goddess of wisdom, warfare, and craftsmanship. Athena is said to have been born fully grown and armored from the forehead of her father, Zeus, 
after he swallowed her pregnant mother, Matus, to prevent the birth of a child who might surpass him in power. This unique birth underscores her association with wisdom and strategy. Athena is primarily known as the goddess of wisdom. Her wisdom is often associated with strategic warfare, clever tactics, and the ability to make sound decisions. She was considered the embodiment of rationality and intellect. Athena is a virgin goddess and a fierce warrior. Unlike Ares, the god of war, who represented the brutal and chaotic aspects of battle, Athena embodied disciplined and strategic warfare. She was a protector of heroes and assisted them in battles. Athena was also a goddess of craftsmanship and the arts. She was associated with weaving, pottery, and other domestic arts. The city of Athens, in particular, considered her the patroness of the arts and crafts. The city of Athens was named after Athena, following a contest between her and Poseidon for the city's patronage. Athena won by presenting the olive tree, a symbol of peace and prosperity, while Poseidon's gift was a saltwater spring. The Parthenon on the Acropolis in Athens was dedicated to her. The owl and the olive tree are two significant symbols associated with Athena. The owl represents wisdom, while the olive tree symbolizes peace and prosperity. These symbols often appear in artistic representations and are linked to Athena's attributes. Athena played a protective role for various heroes in Greek mythology. She assisted Perseus, Heracles, Hercules, and Odysseus, offering guidance, wisdom, and support during their quests and adventures. Athena is often depicted carrying the Aegis, a protective cloak or shield which was sometimes associated with her father Zeus as well. The Aegis bore the head of the Gorgon, Medusa, and was a symbol of divine protection. Athena is sometimes referred to as Pallas Athena, named after her childhood friend Pallas, whom she accidentally killed during a sparring match. In mourning, Athena incorporated Pallas's name into her own. Apollo, god of the sun, music, poetry, and prophecy. Apollo is the son of Zeus and Leto, making him the twin brother of Artemis, the goddess of the hunt. Leto faced challenges finding a place to give birth to Apollo and Artemis due to the jealousy of Hera. Delos eventually became the sacred island where Leto could safely deliver the twins. Apollo is often recognized as the god of the Sun, driving the chariot of the Sun across the ski each day. In this role, he symbolizes light, truth, and enlightenment. The epithet Phoebus Apollo is commonly used to refer to him as the radiant or shining Apollo. Apollo is a patron of the arts, particularly music and poetry. He is credited with the invention of the lyre, a string instrument, and is often depicted playing it. The muses, the goddesses of inspiration in the arts, were considered Apollo's companions. Apollo was associated with prophecy, and the most famous oracle in ancient Greece was located at Delphi, where the Pythia, a priestess of Apollo, delivered prophecies in a trance-like state. Pilgrims and leaders sought Apollo's guidance through the Oracle of Delphi. Apollo was also recognized as an archer and a skilled warrior. He played a significant role in the Trojan War, supporting the Greeks. His intervention was crucial in the eventual downfall of Troy. Apollo was revered as a healer, and his son, Asclepius, became the god of medicine. Temples dedicated to Apollo often included places of healing, and the god was invoked for protection against diseases and plagues. Apollo, along with his twin sister Artemis, punished Niobe for her arrogance and hubris. Niobe claimed to be superior to Leto because she had more children. In response, Apollo and Artemis killed Niobe's children, and she turned into a stone statue while weeping. In the myth of Daphne, Apollo fell in love with the nymph, but was rejected. To escape his advances, Daphne was transformed into a laurel tree. Apollo then adopted the laurel wreath as a symbol, and it became associated with victory and honor. Apollo's relationship with the mortal youth Hyacinth ended tragically when he accidentally killed him with a discus. From Hyacinth's spilled blood, Apollo created the hyacinth flower which became a symbol of rebirth. Artemis, 
goddess of the hunt, wilderness, and wild animals, twin sister of Apollo. Artemis is the twin sister of Apollo, born to Zeus and Leto. The twins share a close bond, and Artemis is often depicted alongside her brother in various myths and artistic representations. Artemis is one of the virgin goddesses in Greek mythology, emphasizing her independence and commitment to remaining unmarried. She was fiercely protective of her chastity and punished those who sought to violate it. Artemis's primary domain is the hunt. She is often depicted carrying a bow and arrows, accompanied by a pack of hunting dogs. As the goddess of the hunt, she is both a skilled archer and a master tracker, able to navigate the wilderness with ease. Artemis is associated with the wilderness and untamed nature. She was revered as a protector of wild animals and forests, embodying the free and unbridled spirit of the natural world. In one famous myth, Orion, a skilled hunter, earned the favor of Artemis. However, his fate took a tragic turn, leading to his death. The details of Orion's death vary in different versions of the myth, but Artemis's grief over his loss is a recurring theme. Another myth involving Artemis centers around the mortal hunter Actaeon. Accidentally witnessing Artemis bathing, he was transformed into a stag and subsequently torn apart by his own hunting dogs as punishment for violating the goddess's privacy. Artemis is sometimes associated with the moon, similar to her brother Apollo's association with the sun. The lunar connection emphasizes her connection to the night, the hunt, and the cycles of nature. The city of Ephesus in ancient Greece was home to the Temple of Artemis, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The temple was dedicated to Artemis and served as a center of worship for the goddess. Despite her fiercely independent nature, Artemis was also considered a protectress of women and children. She was invoked during childbirth, and her association with the moon contributed to her role as a guardian of women's cycles. Artemis embodies a dual nature. On one hand, she is the wild and untamed huntress roaming the wilderness, and on the other, she is a protectress and guardian. This duality reflects the complex and multifaceted nature of her character. Ares, god of war and violence. Ares is the son of Zeus and Hera, making him one of the twelve Olympian gods. He is a sibling to gods such as Athena, Apollo, and Artemis. Despite his divine lineage, Ares is often portrayed as a god with a penchant for violence and chaos. Ares is personified as the god of war, embodying the chaotic and brutal nature of armed conflict. Unlike Athena, who represents strategic and disciplined warfare, Ares is associated with the raw, destructive force of battle. Ares is typically depicted in ancient Greek art wearing armor and carrying weapons such as a spear or sword. His sacred animals include the vulture, a bird associated with death and scavenging. Ares had an infamous affair with Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty, despite being married to Hephaestus. This illicit relationship was often a source of drama and conflict in Greek mythology, with tales of their trysts and the consequences that followed. Ares played a significant role in the events leading up to and during the Trojan War. He sided with the Trojans and actively participated in battles, representing the chaotic and destructive aspects of war. Ares' involvement in the war is often portrayed negatively, emphasizing his impulsive and reckless naturi. Ares was not particularly beloved among the other gods, including his own parents. His aggressive and warlike tendencies were seen as disruptive, and he was often criticized for favoring conflict for its own sake, without strategic purpose. While Ares was not as widely worshipped or revered as some other Olympian gods, he did have a cult in certain regions. The city of Sparta, known for its martial culture, held Ares in higher esteem than many other Greek city-states. In ancient Greek literature, especially in Homer's Iliad and Odyssey, Ares is often portrayed as impulsive, easily angered, and quick to take offense. His character serves as a foil to Athena, who embodies a more strategic and disciplined approach to warfare. Ares' influence extended beyond the battlefield, and he was associated with any form of conflict and strife, 
whether it be physical, emotional, or societal. His presence symbolized the inherent violence and chaos that could arise in times of war. Hephaestus, god of blacksmiths, craftsmen, and fire. Hephaestus is the son of Zeus and Hera. According to some myths, he was born lame or deformed and was cast down from Mount Olympus by his mother due to his appearance. This physical disability, however, did not diminish his skill and ingenuity. Hephaestus is best known as the master blacksmith of the Olympian gods. He crafted their weapons, armor, and various divine artifacts. His workshop was believed to be located beneath Mount Etna or Mount Olympus, where he tirelessly worked on his creations. The Forge of Hephaestus was a legendary workshop where he created intricate and powerful items. It was said to be filled with automated tools and mechanical servants, reflecting his status as a master craftsman. One of Hephaestus's most famous creations was the first mortal woman, Pandora. According to the myth, Zeus tasked Hephaestus with molding Pandora out of clay. Each god contributed a gift to her, and she was sent to Earth as a punishment for humanity. Despite his physical deformity, Hephaestus was married to Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. Their marriage was not one of love, but rather a result of political and strategic considerations among the gods. Hephaestus's craftsmanship played a role in creating many beautiful gifts for Aphrodite. In one famous myth, Hephaestus sought revenge against his unfaithful wife, Aphrodite, and her lover, Ares. He crafted an ingenious and invisible net, which he used to trap them in the act of adultery. The other gods intervened to resolve the situation. Hephaestus played a crucial role in the battle between the Olympian gods and the Titans. He crafted powerful weapons for the gods, including the thunderbolts for Zeus. During the Gigantomachy, Hephaestus fought alongside the gods against the giants. In addition to his role as a blacksmith, Hephaestus is also associated with fire. The element is central to the forging process, and Hephaestus's mastery over fire reflects his divine craftsmanship. Hephaestus is often depicted with a hammer, anvil, and tongs, emphasizing his role as a blacksmith. His layman's is also a distinctive characteristic in artistic representations. Hephaestus had various cults and sanctuaries dedicated to him in ancient Greece. Cities with a focus on craftsmanship and metalworking, such as Athens and Lemnos, held special reverence for him. Aphrodite, goddess of love, beauty, and fertility. Aphrodite's origins vary in different myths. The most well-known version states that she emerged from the sea foam after the severed genitals of Uranus, sky, fell into the ocean. Another version links her parentage to Zeus and Dione, Aphrodite is often depicted as a stunningly beautiful and alluring goddess. Her symbols include the dove, the myrtle plant, and the scallop shell. The rose, particularly the red rose, is also strongly associated with her and symbolizes love and passion. While Aphrodite was married to Hephaestus, the god of blacksmiths, their union was not based on love. Aphrodite had numerous affairs, including relationships with Ares, the god of war, and Adonis, a mortal. Her love life was often a source of intrigue and drama in Greek mythology. In some myths, Aphrodite is considered the mother of Eros, the god of love, often portrayed as a mischievous winged figure. Eros played a role in stirring desire and love among both gods and mortals. Aphrodite was widely worshipped across ancient Greece, and she had various cults and temples dedicated to her. The most famous of these was the Temple of Aphrodite in Corinth, where priestesses known as Heterai served the goddess. Aphrodite was sometimes worshipped in two aspects, Aphrodite Pandemos, the common or of all the people, who represented physical, sensual love, and Aphrodite Urania, the celestial or heavenly Aphrodite, who symbolized higher spiritual love. Aphrodite played a significant role in the Judgment of Paris, a mythological event that led to the Trojan War. Paris, a Trojan prince, was tasked with choosing the most beautiful goddess among Hera, Athena, and Aphrodite. Aphrodite, promising him the love of the most beautiful mortal woman, Helen, 
won the judgment. The myth of Adonis involves Aphrodite's love for the handsome mortal Adonis. His tragic death, resulting from a boar attack, is a central theme in the myth. Aphrodite mourned his loss, and it was said that Adonis spent part of the year in the underworld with Persephone. Aphrodite also had a notable affair with Anchises, a mortal shepherd. The union produced Aeneas, a hero in Greek mythology who played a crucial role in the founding of Rome. Aphrodite's importance extended beyond mythology into various forms of art, literature, and cultural practices. Her image and themes associated with her, such as beauty and love, were prevalent in ancient Greek and later Roman art. Hermes, messenger of the gods and god of travel, commerce, and thieves. Hermes is the son of Zeus and Maia, one of the Pleiades. He was born in a cave on Mount Silin in Arcadia. Known for his quick wit and cleverness even as an infant, Hermes demonstrated his agility and intelligence from the moment of his birth. Hermes is primarily known as the messenger of the gods. He served as the intermediary between the divine realms, delivering messages from the gods to mortals. He was also associated with guiding souls to the afterlife. Hermes is often depicted wearing winged sandals, which enabled him to move swiftly between the mortal and divine worlds. He also carried a caduceus, a winged staff entwined with two snakes, which became a symbol of commerce and negotiation. In addition to his role as a messenger, Hermes was the god of travel. He protected travelers and was invoked by those embarking on journeys to ensure safe passage. His association with boundaries and crossroads further emphasized his role as a guide in transitions. Hermes was considered the god of commerce and trade, representing the exchange of goods and ideas. Markets and meeting places, known as Hermai, were often adorned with statues of Hermes, serving as symbols of prosperity and communication. Hermes had a mischievous and trickster aspect to his personality. He was known for his cleverness and enjoyed playing pranks on other gods and mortals. His quick thinking often helped him navigate challenges and outsmart his adversaries. Hermes played a role in the myth of Dionysus, helping the infant god survive the schemes of Hera. He guided Dionysus to safety, and as a reward, he was granted the staff of Dionysus, the Thyrsus, which became one of his symbols. In later traditions, especially in Hellenistic and Egyptian syncretism, Hermes became associated with mystical and esoteric knowledge. The figure known as Hermes Trismegistus emerged, associated with alchemy, astrology, and hermeticism. While Hermes was associated with commerce and trade, he also had a connection to thieves. As the god of cunning and trickery, he was seen as a protector of those engaged in less-than-honest activities. Hermai, square pillars topped with a bust of Hermes and an erect phallus, were placed at crossroads and boundaries. These served as markers and symbols of protection. They were also associated with fertility and transition. Dionysus, god of wine, pleasure, and festivity. Dionysus is the son of Zeus and the mortal princess Semele. His mortal mother perished when Zeus revealed his divine form to her, resulting in her inability to withstand the divine radiance. To save Dionysus, Zeus rescued the unborn god from Semele's womb and sewed him into his tech. Dionysus then experienced a second birth from Zeus, which contributed to his dual nature and associations with life and death. Dionysus is closely associated with the world of theater and drama. The Dionysian festivals, especially the city Dionysia in Athens, were marked by theatrical performances and competitions. The tragic and comedic genres were developed as part of these festivals. Dionysus is often accompanied by his followers, the Maenads, or Bacchae, and the male companions known as satyrs. The Maenads, in particular, were known for their ecstatic and frenzied worship of Dionysus, engaging in wild dances and rituals. Dionysus is the god of wine, and the consumption of wine is a central element of his worship. Wine symbolizes both the pleasure of life and the transformative power of Dionysus. It is believed to induce ecstasy 
and liberation from conventional constraints. The worship of Dionysus included secretive and initiatory rites, known as the Bacchic or Dionysian Mysteries. Participants, called initiates, underwent rituals that were meant to provide a transcendent experience and a deeper understanding of the divine. Dionysus is often depicted with vine leaves and grapes, emphasizing his connection to the cultivation of wine. The vine is considered a sacred plant in his honor, and his symbolism is intertwined with the agricultural cycle. Dionysus is linked to Demeter, the goddess of agriculture and fertility. Some myths suggest that Demeter taught Dionysus the art of viticulture, emphasizing the connection between wine and the fertility of the land. Dionysus undertook various adventures and travels, facing challenges that reflected his dual nature. In some myths, he journeyed to distant lands, spreading his worship and encountering opposition from those who resisted his revelry. Dionysus played a role in various myths, including the story of his capture by pirates who underestimated his divine nature. He transformed into a lion, causing panic among the crew. Those who recognized his divinity were spared, while the others were turned into dolphins.